Good evening, everyone. This is uh, Dragon Pat here tonight to share a revelation um, that I had concerning the church. Okay, I wake, I woke up this morning thinking about the church. Now, um, our church, the Black American Church, Black Church, or whatever, you know, uh, I haven't been to church. Uh, the last time I went, I think I was 27 years old. I'll be 50 next year. Uh, I haven't stepped in one, call myself visiting one since. Um, yeah, it's been that long. I wish it had been even longer. I wish, well, anyway, I haven't been there since the, um, since I was 27, stepped in the church. What I was thinking about for the most part, a lot of things came to my mind, but the main thing that came to my mind is that it's time to leave these churches, leave them empty just 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 walk out and never come back it's time it's it's been over time for us to do this and this was so strong in my spirit it was more like a revelation so um as i went through my day i was on um well i was on youtube and facebook and i i was just you know you know looking at the subjects on my um on my YouTube, and then Sika, Sika's um, video came up, a video she probably made about a week ago, um, warning us to, you know, get ready for what's to come, so I'm just listening to, you know, I was listening to her video, and then she starts talking about the church, and the exact same things that I was, I was thinking of, she hit on, and I was like, whoa, wait a minute, this is, this is confirmation. This is confirmation. Um, I can't remember exactly what she said. You might want to look for it. Um, shouldn't be hard to find. It was the a video she made last week. Um, but you know, it was like, you know, I, I, my experience with spirit, when I get something, I wake up with something or, you know, I get a vision, something will happen. I'll be somewhere or I'll be on the internet or something like that. And that same subject that I thought about popped up. So that gives me, um, comfort. That just gave me confirmation that, uh, what, what I was thinking about, um, was coming directly from source. Uh, so I was on Facebook. So I'm on Facebook scrolling down my page, you know, whatnot. And this dude, was talking about the church. Um, he was talking about the same thing I was thinking about and what Sika alluded to. It's time to lead the church. And the way he put it was that 2020, um, coronavirus 2020 was a blessing in disguise for, for the most part concerning the church because we haven't really been allowed to go there. We haven't been allowed to go there and congregate. We've had to stay home and, and stay with our families or rest that day or, or do something extra or something. And I said, oh my God, just validation, confirmation everywhere. What I was thinking of. And um, don't get me wrong. I know there are some good churches still, you know, still around. Um, but none of them do what they were originally created to do. Okay. I mean, it's cool. You feeding the homeless, uh, you know, or, or, uh, 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 giving out, uh, used clothes or whatever, or turkeys for, uh, Thanksgiving and whatever. That's great. But that, that is nothing. That is not what, uh, what, uh, uh, what our churches were doing for our community, that, that is nothing in comparison. Uh, right now, um, all I, uh, to me, at least for the past 40 years, I think the church has been more of a, 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 a place for, uh, retired pimps to come, to come in and, um, continue to make some money. Okay. Uh, make money for themselves. How many, uh, multi-million dollar pastors we have in the hood amidst the most terrible, terrible poverty, uh, uh, drug addiction, 
um, dilapidated homes and communities to, uh, you know, the worst schools there is you sitting in the lap of lunch, uh, in the lap of luxury among all this poverty and pain and destruction. <sighs> you don't know. I don't, I don't even have to name these, uh, pastors that have been, uh, busted for so many terrible things. Um, in the, in the not, you know, in the past and in the present, we, we constantly hearing things about, uh, these, these, uh, pastors praying on our children in the church, um, which they probably already did. It's just worse now, or maybe it's, um, because of social media, we can hear, we're able to hear more about it. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to be blunt, honey, for the most part. Because according to my experiences in church and what I heard and what I was privy to and what I noticed, these ministers, these pastors and ministers, they ain't doing nothing but screwing your, your mother, your, your grandmama, your sisters, and now your sons and your nephews and probably your husbands. That's all they doing and taking your money and taking your time. You are wasting your time. In these churches, it's time to leave. Now, where we go from there, I don't know. I don't know. I wish I had the answer. There's a lot of things that we can do with our time on Sundays, rather than sit up, rather than you know, sit in these these um synagogues of Satan. That's what they are, um, synagogues of, of Satan and being used and abused and stuff like that. Just wasting. Wasting your time, wasting your, 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 your family's time, your husband's time, your children's time. It's time to leave. And I think that with all that confirmation that I got, um, this morning from what spirit had put into me, um, uh, into my spirit and what I was just, just woke up thinking about, I think it's more like a mandate. It's like, you know, the most high saying it's time to leave. It's time to leave and it's time to leave now. Okay, um, let me tell you what the church is originally what the church was built for in our community. Now, they say that um, white people built the church up for us to control us, maybe eventually later on. But at first, the white community did not like us um, being Christians and having our own church and church service and stuff. They didn't like that because they knew that that it eventually it would become a weapon to use against them. They knew that and it did. Let me tell you what, show you what the churches were usually, um, what they usually did for the community. For one, um, at one point it was for the, to help us obtain or keep land or something like that. Look it up. Okay. But definitely they served as um, community centers, schools, political halls, concert halls for both church and secular music. Shelter for temporary visitors, shelters for sick and the uh, the incapacitated. Um, they served as financial um, assistance for for our children going to college, and they were staunch in their resistance and opposition to racial violence. They were totally involved in the community they were totally involved and concerned about the person the person making the people rich protecting the people serving as a res a, a, a refuge for the people who do you serve in church today that doggone pastor and those ministers that's who you serve today that's who gets served today they were supposed to serve us. We weren't supposed to serve them. It's time to get out these churches, y'all. And it's a mandate. And this is, um, I kind of see what the, um, the person on the Facebook page was saying. This is like a blessing in disguise for us concerning this, the house of, of demons. You know what I'm saying? It's time for us to go. We can't even go there. I mean, leave there. We can't go there right now anyway because of the so-called coronavirus and we, you know, it's not good to to meet up uh, with a whole bunch of people. And he said, that's a blessing. And, you know, I see it as a blessing too. So this is my, um, the word to you. Um, this is not coming just uh, from me. It's coming through me. It was put into my spirit. 
um, early this morning and I just I needed to share that please um like this video and share it get the word out um this is dragon pat again thank you for listening in and peace